Hello and welcome to Zen Storytime. This is me, Ocean, and today I'm going to read a book called The Mouse and the Buddha. And one of the reasons I like this story is because I don't especially like mice. They make me feel kind of scared. But this story helps me feel better about mice because I can see how the Buddha was so kind to this little mouse. So let's read it together. There once was a mouse who lived with a family high in the mountains of Dharamsala, India. The mouse was called Tsitsi. This is Tibetan for mouse. He was a hungry little mouse. One night he sneaked past the sleeping children and entered the temple where the big gold Buddha sat. So if you look close, you can see the little mouse at the bottom of this picture. In front of the Buddha was a feast for a king. There were oranges, chocolates, and butter sculptures that looked like delicate flowers. There were cookies, candies, and beautifully baked pastries in the shape of crescent moons. So at Clouds and Water, we make an offering of food to the Buddha during children's practice. So this is kind of like that. Except we don't have a mouse on our altar sitting and eating the treats like tzitzi. And he watched the candles and incense burn to nothing but stub and ash. Oh, the Buddha loved the mouse's company. While the mouse ate, the Buddha spoke softly to the hungry creature and lovingly shared his wisdom. He said, We all live under the same bright sun. Be kind to others. Be forgiving. Be patient. Have compassion for those less fortunate than you. So being fortunate means if you have something good in your life, you should have compassion for people that don't have that and wish that they could have it too. And the Buddha said, do not forget to love one another. This is a good way to live your life. As the Buddha spoke, Tsitsi thought about his family and friends and even the strangers he encountered on the street. The very next day, he began to live the life the Buddha spoke of. He planted a garden for a friend. He helped older mice get to the market for their bread and cheese. He visited those who were lonely and sick. Tsitsi was kind to everyone he met that day, even a cat. So you may think a mouse wouldn't be kind to a cat, but I'm telling you, we used to have a cat and we used to have a mouse in our house. And once we saw the cat and the mouse just sitting together, kind of like this, looking at each other. The next day, Tsitsi visited the temple again. As he ate, he told the Buddha all he had learned that day. When he was full and sleepy, Tsitsi licked the chocolate from his paws, wiped the pastry crumbs from his mouth, and quietly thanked the Buddha. Before Tsitsi left the temple, he scratched the Buddha on his belly to make him laugh. Oh, what a joyous laugh it was. It rang through all of the great mountains and covered all of the great ocean. Later, as the little mouse drifted off to sleep, whiskers twitching, he thought about the things the big gold Buddha had shared with him. Tsitsi liked one message the most. Do not forget to love one another, he whispered into the night. 
and off he fell to sleep. The End